When it comes to the causes of communication apprehension, there are many reasons why you have that fear or anxiety in regard to public speaking. And I want to take just a minute to teach you all some of the causes of communication apprehension. Starting off with the first and probably one of the most popular is being singled out. So when we deliver presentations, a lot of the time we are talking and we are alone. And when you're alone, you are being singled out. So all the attention is on you. And a lot of the time people are not comfortable with being the center of attention. Me in particular, I always hated public speaking because everybody was paying attention to me, everybody was looking at me, everybody was listening to me. And it was a lot of pressure, so I felt like I had to really do well and keep them engaged. Even now, sometimes when I deliver lectures, I want to make sure that I deliver the best lectures possible. But one of the reasons or one of the triggers to my communication apprehension is being singled out or being the center of attention. Another reason why you might have some communication apprehension is the fact that you're delivering presentations to strangers. It's easier for us to talk to our best friends and to our family because we're comfortable with them. But when we have to deliver speeches in front of people who don't know us at all, we have to create this impression. And sometimes that makes us overthink, which of course causes our anxiety. There's a lot of uncertainty also when it comes to, communi uh, to public speaking. Because we never know what to expect, especially since some of us don't have that much experience with communication, of which delivering presentation. So we don't know what to do or what not to do or whether our message is being clear or not. All that uncertainty definitely causes our fear and anxiety to spike up. The interesting thing about public speaking is that it's very formal. Rather than just talking one-on-one -on -one with your best friend, public speaking, you have to go in with an idea a lot of the time. You kind of want to choreograph what you're going to say and knowing that it's more formal setting and more strict setting as opposed to being relaxed with your best friend can cause you to have fear and anxiety. Probably one of my biggest things and maybe one of your biggest things when it comes to communication apprehension is recalling past failures. And for me, it was always my 10th grade presentation that I did in my world history class. To summarize, I delivered a presentation and my voice was shaky the entire time. And that really affected me during my college career. Always recalling those past failures or maybe those past hiccups have really changed the way that I would approach lectures. But it really takes some time in order to overcome recalling past failures. But don't worry, we're going to teach you some ways to do that. And then last but not least, a reason why you could possibly or what could cause your communication apprehension is the fact that you're being evaluated. I know I'm going to have to grade you and you know you're going to have to grade me, but I want you to approach it as in just some practice with public speaking. So that way when you reach the peak of your career, you know exactly what to do and that you feel much more confident before you get in front of your peers. So I wanted to take this video in a couple of minutes just to let you know some common causes of communication apprehension. Email me if you need me.